If you also look at a lot of the mainstream training, it's like, if someone's not interested in buying or selling something right away, move on. It's like that is a human being that's gonna buy or sell something at some point. Why are we throwing them away? Why are we moving on? This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. What I want you to do is I want you to start thinking, how can I, because I know that all of you on this call are honest people, you work hard, you're dependable, you're professional, you're everything that a client wants in an agent. But what I want you to do is start to try to emulate that and, and project that when you're when you're talking to, to clients. Because here's the problem, okay, and I don't know what training system you guys have been on or what you, so please don't take offense, but most training is kind of set up, if you really look at it, in a way that has you communicating through scripts that is not who you really are. It's kind of set up to handle objections and make people sign the line and, you know, force appointments and, you know, it's like, you know, hey, Mr. Seller, will you sell your property if you consider moving, if you consider selling? And all that is really kind of just set up to try to figure out what the client wants to do, what the client can do for the agent. Think about it for a second. All the mainstream training out there, if you really look at the scripts and the strategy behind it, it's really designed to try to get the client to do something for the agent. You know, try to get them to sell that property so I can make a commission. And what I want you to do is start to think about how can we have conversations that that give that, that that are in a sense where the agent we try to figure out what the agent can do for the client for me it's like you know hey it's Ricky how you doing cool I'm enjoying the days and they're gorgeous awesome well look I don't want to take too much of your time a house around the corner just sold didn't know if there's anything I could do for you I didn't try to sell them anything I respected their time I gave a little small small chat there at the beginning didn't force the sales call, you know, checking on them, seeing how they're doing, seeing what I could do to help. These are the kind of conversations you need to have. If you also look at a lot of the mainstream training, it's like, if someone's not interested in buying or selling something right away, move on. It's like that is a human being that's gonna buy or sell something at some point. Why are we throwing them away? Why are we moving on? Why don't we get to know this person a little more? You know, some of my best clients never bought or sold a property ever from me, but they referred me like 10 people. If you start to think about the business in terms of relational versus transactional, throw the transaction out the window, you'll do more transactions.